Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be trying out the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Ultra Comfort Transfer Proof Lipstick. I know the title's so long, but girl, it does everything apparently, okay? <laughs> they came out 16 different shades. It is only for $20, and basically it's supposed to be a really lightweight, comfortable, transfer proof, long lasting, really pigmented lip color. It's supposed to be fragrance free, so I'm really excited to test this out. We're gonna see how pigmented are these liquid lipsticks? How, what does it do for applicator? Like, is it actually fragrance free? Does it have a scent of any kind? And what are the undertones like to this collection, or at least five that I picked up today for today's video? I hope you guys enjoy. Everything will be linked down below as always. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos it's just like this one. And let's jump on in and try them on. And now starting off on our first lip shade, which is called Venus. And I absolutely love the names to these lip colors in this collection. I think they're catchy and fun. And when I think of Venus, I think of being an air sign the Venus of like love, you know <laughs> And basically I'm an air sign. I'm a Libra if you are an air sign too, comment down below I'd love to know but this is basically the swatch of this lip color It is described on their website as a light beige lip color and I absolutely love it I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade It has a neutral undertone which I personally love and I have a lot of lip colors that are like my everyday type of lip colors are like my favorites that kind of have this undertone to it. I feel like it's almost similar to what I currently have on my lips even now but I absolutely love it as for the consistency it is really pigmented it is really lightweight the formula of it is kind of I wouldn't say watery but it, it does feel like it could be a little runny so keep them in the back of your mind as for the doe for applicator you know, it's nothing different than what we've already seen, to be really honest. Um, but it is nice and spongy. I feel it picks up enough product. As for a scent, I know I mentioned on their website that it's not supposed to have a scent, but I picked up a coconut scent to it. So I just wanted to share out with you, which I found interesting. But other than that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and remove the lip combo that I currently have on. And in case you're interested, I will have that linked down below in the description box. I did move the mirror a little bit closer to me, so if it's in frame... You guys, I just want to make sure I'm applying on the lip colors correctly so I can see. And so I'm going to go ahead and start at the side of my lip. And then press my lips together. And then I'm just going to go over. So what do you guys think of Venus? I think it's really, really pretty as expected. I ended up really, really loving this lip shade. It's just so pretty. It looks like my lips, but better. It's a perfect neutral undertone. You can wear it day or night. It's just easy, you know what I mean? So I absolutely love it. As for the consistency, it is really lightweight. I'm so surprised. Like I don't feel like I have anything on, but in a sense I do just because my lips do feel powdery and soft. It does have like a suede velvety finish to it. As for it being non-sticky, let me tell you, it is really non-sticky. It dries down, like I know I mentioned before that it doesn't dry down too quickly, but in a sense it kind of does on your lips because it is not sticky. It is not transferring at all. So, so far I'm really impressed with the consistency and how pigmented these lip shades are looking. So let's move on to lip shade at number two. Now for Bombshell, this is described on their website as a pink nude lip color. And let me tell you, I actually really like it. It kind of has, I feel like has like a rosy undertone to it. And I feel like again, really pigmented, lightweight, and I personally really love how pigmented it is. Like, I feel like this could last you essentially a really long time because you don't really need to like dip your doe for applicator and like layer it on. Obviously, we'll see once we get into darker shades <laughs> how that is all about. But so far, I personally really love it. I feel like this is really, really pretty. Another everyday type of lip shade, which I personally love. So let's dive on in and apply on this lip shade. And I'm gonna start in the corner and then work my way through and so far I feel like with one swatch is like more than enough what do you guys think of bombshell to be really honest I find it to be I mean it's a pretty lip color but I, I don't know it's not a lip color that I would naturally gravitate towards but I actually really like it it's really pretty I think I'd wear this with like a lighter kind of lip color in the center of my lips to give it a, a little bit more of that pout and then just line my lips with a lip liner something a little bit more of a chocolate brown just to kind of give my lips a little bit more dimension or a taupey lip liner but overall I actually really like it again it's really pigmented I didn't have to dip my doe applicator into the tube trying to layer on and get the most pigmentation out of this liquid lipstick so so far so good 
again it still feels really powdery and soft it dries down pretty fairly quickly that I feel like you know you can keep it moving it doesn't feel sticky feels nice and comfortable and powdery and soft so let's move on to lip shade number three trendsetter this is described on their website as a brand new lip shade so if you love a brown lip color I think you're gonna love this one I personally love brown nude lip colors that have this undertone to them that looks like a brownie a little Hershey kiss <laughs> it is really really nice this is perfect for the fall winter time but obviously you can wear any type of lip color any time of the year I love how pigmented it is it's just so pigmented so far I don't notice any patchiness or anything like that applying it on my lips so I'm really excited to test out this more deeper more rich lip color so I'm gonna go in with the dofa applicator and again I'm gonna start in the corner of my mouth and then work my way through pressing my lips together so what do you guys think? Comment down below on this lip shade. I personally really like Trendsetter. It's actually really pretty. It's a little darker, a little bit more vampy than what I thought it would look on, but overall it's really pretty. I love the undertone to it. I feel like this is the perfect fall lip shade. It's just really nice. So far, as this one is a little bit more deeper and more rich than the last lip shade, I didn't notice any patchiness whatsoever, flakiness at all. So, so far I'm really impressed. Again, the formula is the same girl. It hasn't changed. It still feels really nice and powdery and soft it's not transferring whatsoever I do want to mention in between switching and trying on these lip colors I am using a makeup removing wipe to remove the lip color that I currently have on my lips or that I applied on and it does give me you know gives me a little bit of work to remove the lip shade so I do want to share that with you so as a long wearing part I feel like it'd be pretty good long wearing in the sense of that you know you won't have to reapply so many times maybe if you have a little makeout sash I'm not really sure about that. So just keep that in the back of your mind. <laughs> Let's move on to lip shade number four. Perfectionist, this is described on their website as a light pink beige lip color. And I actually really like this one. I feel like it's gonna look really pretty on my lips. It's a little bit more pinky than what I personally gravitate towards, but I actually really like it. I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip color that you can just, you know, apply on it's not too bright but at the same time it grabs your attention and i feel like it has a neutral undertone as well that it will complement many skin complexions which is perfect because we all love a good neutral undertone you know <laughs> so i'm gonna go in and apply on this lip color and i'm just gonna go ahead and start at the corner as always and then work my way through and this is Perfectionist. Comment down below what do you think of Perfectionist. I actually really like this lip color. I feel like it looks like my lip color but better. I feel like it gives you a pop of color because it's bold and pigmented but at the same time it's not too bold and too pigmented at the same time or like too loud. I feel like it has a neutral, natural, like soft undertone which I personally really love. I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade that you can kind of just throw on and be on the go which is perfect because it doesn't you don't have to think twice about it you know what I mean. The formula again it still feels really lightweight comfortable feels powdery and soft it is non-sticky and I personally really love that so far so let's move on to our last and final lip shade. We Talker and this is described on their website as a pink brown lip shade and you guys it is so pretty I'm really excited to test this out I'm hoping it looks really nice on like I up really liking it you know <laughs> and this is basically it isn't it pretty it's like a perfect nude lip color love the undertones very unique and I absolutely love it I feel like this is again another another lip color that looks like your natural lips but better I can just wear this day or night and just not have to think twice about it you know what I mean which is a big plus so I'm gonna go in and apply on Sweet Talker, which I absolutely love the name to it. And again, I feel like it looks <laughs> like my lip color, which is not a bad thing, just because it is really, really pretty shade. And I feel like you can always, you know, change it up with the lip liner and kind of get really creative when it comes to lip colors like this. And this is Sweet Talker. Comment down below what do you guys think of this lip shade. I absolutely love it. More so than what I expected. I do notice that when these lip colors, when like you essentially apply it on, it's like one color and then like as it dries down it gets a little bit darker. So that is the only thing. But overall I really love the undertone. My, two, my three actually 
favorite lip shades from this entire collection that I picked up, or not the entire collection, but the five lip colors that I picked up that I would have to say my top three would be Perfectionist, We Talker, and Venus. I absolutely love them. I feel like they're the perfect everyday type of lip shades that you can just throw on and be on the go. And I feel like $20 is definitely worth it just because it's so lightweight. A little bit of product will last you a really long time. And I love how it's transfer proof. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels comfortable and lightweight on the lips. And it's super pigmented, which is really Really impressive for such a lightweight product I don't know just for me I just I'm really surprised and I really love the doe for applicator I actually ended up using it to line my lips or at least trying to which came in handy and I also really like that it's vegan that it's fragrance free although it does have a slight coconut scent to it maybe it's something in the formula I'm not really sure and maybe that's what makes it so moisturizing at the same time or lightweight but this is basically it you guys I hope you enjoyed today's video everything will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any questions comment down below ask away I'm always here to help and as always I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye